Hello guys and welcome to Freebird Screw and uh, in this video I will tell you about how linear regression works and uh, when to use and when not to use the linear regression. So linear regression is the most simplest algorithm in machine learning as it focuses mainly to determine, to check, to know the relationship between the independent variables and your target variable. The target variable is the variable which you want to predict. Okay, So there are like two types of uh, linear regression. The first is univariate linear regression where there is only one independent variable and the other is multiple linear regression where there are multiple independent variables. So like we have multiple columns, we want to predict the one. Okay, so th this is how the linear regression plot look, looks like. You have to like to build a, a line that is regression fit line into your data that will explain the trend explain the relationship of the x and y very clearly okay so as they, this is the line that shows that that the data is going in this trend okay now what's the mathematics behind the linear regression so linear regression is basically worked on the formula of this that y is equal to mx plus c or y is equal to b0 plus b1x these x1 x2 x3 are the columns that if, if we have like multiple in independent columns then this can be uh, written like this but if it has only uh, one single independent variable then it can be written like this that is y is equal to b0 plus b1x okay so in this uh, equation we have b0 b0 is known as the intercept so intercept actually tells from which point your line passes by that is this is the line it is passes by approximately two here okay approximately two so that is determined by the in intercept so intercept is the point that crosses the y-axis or x-axis in some way so that shows by the intercept and then b1 b2 b3 or like b that is the slope of the line so this is the slope that in which direction your line should be is it is a very steep line or very horizontally or vertically in which way it goes it is deter determined by the slope so b1 is the slope so this b1 b2 b3 b4 and up to n these are the slope of each independent variable if you have multiple independent variables then okay then the error component is this is just a residual error you want to Add it or not, it's your choice. Okay. So, this is how it really uh, works in the mathematical foundation. And you want to predict the y. So, y is our predicted variable or the target variable we want to predict. Okay. And the difference between this y and the actual value is called the error or the residuals. Okay, so le let's say you want to predict that uh, value, that uh, actual value is 3 and your model predicted value of 2. So in that way, the error is 1. So that 1 is the error. So if you just see here that this is the line, so the points on this line is the actual points predicted by the model. But the actual points are here. Okay, so the difference between this actual point and this point on the line is called the residual okay and uh, regression anal analysis is all about like this predicting weights so weights can be this b b b0 or b1 and ha that has the smallest residual as well so that when you are using this formula to predict the y you have to be get the accurate or the precise weights that b0 and b1 so that the residual or the error can be smallest Okay, this can also be done by using this for formula that is ordinary least square method or sum of squared as residual. So in that way, you are like uh, summing up all the val values from your ori original values and then checking out that which way your model is getting the smallest residuals. Okay, so if we are trying to use this equation for all the data points that I have, it will give me the least squares. So when I try to shift this line 
uh, suppose this line is in this direction i want to make it little bit switched in the above way or in the down way so in that way my ordinary least square value would also got changed so, so the value which is the smallest value when i can get that in that way I, I can say that yeah this is my best fit line okay or that can also be done by use using the gradient descent okay that i will explain in some separate video but for the now as a beginner you understand that this this is these two things are the main this is the equation of the linear regression this is the equation of the ordinary leak square method that will help you to get the better model fit line okay and there is a coefficient of determination that is called r square so the r square helps you to uh, understand the amount of variation that is completely explained by your y in the x variable okay so that when your predictor variable completely able to explain that how your independent variables are behaving then that point we call use the r square so the r square value is always between the 0 and 1 you can see that it is also accuracy of the regression model okay when r square is equal to 1 it is the best fit model when r square is equal to 0 it is the least fit fit model okay so if you completely understand what is linear regression what are the types and how its mathematics works okay and in the next video i will tell you about the simple or univariate linear regression and we build a also project on that okay so just be with it and uh, we'll meet in our next video thank you guys thank you so much